Hello, my name is Allison Masonkai, she, they pronouns, visual description. I'm a Philippine ex femme with uh, long straight black hair and light tan skin. I'm wearing a multicolored beanie and a dark gray t-shirt. I'm going to be reading one of my pieces from the Jack Straw Writers Anthology 2024 titled They Say Art is Healing. Content notes, this piece describes ableism and mentions medical bills, fascism, capitalism, imperialism, colonialism, and anti-blackness. I tiled my studio apartment floor with unopened medical bills from the past year. It was somewhat aesthetically pleasing, but not more effective than the online bill pay option. That's why I'm applying for a grant to create a series of bed sheets sewn from naturally stained gauze and enveloped health insurance claims. It'll be shown in a gallery alongside an interactive art piece where strangers manually search for individual letters from ripped up mail inside bowls carved out of my own skull. And I will be so grateful to have created something so authentic and taken the advice of those who say that art is healing. That's why institutional validation matters so much to me as a disabled artist. I'm becoming exposed enough among audiences of people who are starting to notice my knuckles cracking, headaches unfolding, KN95 mask sealing my lower face, and all of the blah 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 I say about ableism, fascism, capitalism, imperialism, colonialism, and anti-blackness right before some compelling figurative language about my chronic pain and disabilities. Someone out there is waiting to, no, dying to critique my diction and leave any other considerations about me far away, alone, and forcibly inspired by a pile of medical bills. Thank you. Hi, I'm Nance and I'm a singer-songwriter for the Bushwick Book Club and I had the honor and pleasure of writing a song for the work of Alison Masunghai's pieces in the Jack Straw Anthology. I specifically chose the piece They Say Art is Healing because I feel like as an artist we can often be catapulted into the spotlight of taking our pain and putting it up for the world to see. And I just really connected and loved the imagery of medical bills piling up and piling up and turning them into bed sheets to be displayed and turning your skull into a piece where you can rifle through fragments of letters. And I just thought it was a really cool depiction of what it's like to be critiqued, what it's like for to be so vulnerable and show your soul and bare your soul for complete strangers so that you can gain the favor of institutions so you can keep being alive and surviving as an artist, especially as someone who has a disability, especially as someone who has loved ones with chronic illnesses and chronic pain. I drew a lot of inspiration from my loved ones with chronic pain and chronic health issues. So my piece is dedicated to my friend Soli, who I love very much. Um, and I hope you enjoy this song. <sighs>
I miss when you put your hand in mine Wish life was a game that I was winning Wish I was running out of time Needle couldn't find the vein Waves and shocks roll through my brain Wish that I could numb the pain Could anybody help? Take a fragment from my skull Take a gander, see my soul See the story that I told Did I end up in hell? I just miss the times when I was grinning when you put your hand in mine Wish life was a game that I was winning Wish I wasn't running out of time Letters piling at the door Searching for another cure You say all I want is more But I still feel unwell Thank you